Welcome to FX Masterclass. My name is Ernest Rowe, and today's topic is on the FX Crown. And we're going to do a complete disassembly on it. And we'll begin. All right, first, we'll remove the barrel. You're going to need, let's see here. Can't remember all of them, but there's a three mil. There's, there's two here. All right. You don't need to remove it all the way out, just a couple turns. And a four mil for the rear one. And just say a couple, just a couple turn, one turn. And slowly slide it out. And now we're going to uh, remove the power wheel. And now it's uh, this one here is like uh, four and a half mil. Slowly lift it up and be careful there's a ball bearing and spring. Usually the ball bearing stays in place. All right. Careful not to lose them. And we'll keep the, let me get them out. Because they end up bouncing around later and lose them. There's the springs inside. All right, we'll flip it over. And we'll remove the safety lever. It's two and a half. Right. Safety. Uh, it, there's an O-ring here. Usually, it stays in place. So, in case it almost comes out, push it back in. Right. Now we just kind of flip it over. You're going to remove the stock screws and bolts. There's a cap screw here. This one. Oops. Oh, I'm gonna clean up here. This one's a four mil. And this one is a three mil. I usually don't remove the screws. I just leave it in a stock. I just kind of slowly lift it up. Uh, let me do this a uh, lefty. I just gotta keep it upright like this so it keeps the fasteners in place. And uh, we're going to remove the bottle, and it is pressurized. To work on it safe, we got to depressurize it. Let's turn the bottle. I say four or five half turns. And you hear a piss. It's a really quick one. Unscrew, remove bottle. Then you get a. I believe this is two and a half mil on a rig adjustment screw right here. Just turn it counterclockwise till you hear a leak. It don't take much. You see the uh, gauge still zeroes out. Well, you don't hear it leaking anymore. All right, going to remove the gauges. This sealed by a little plastic washer. And ordinary open end wrench doesn't fit in there. It's kind of it's kind of a special well, it's not special. We ground it down till it fit under between the gauge and the action. All 
And remove the red side. And we're gonna remove the foster. So we need a 14 mil. Now right, we're gonna remove the regulator. Adjustment screw in the body. There's a four mil, oh, five mil to remove the, the hex on the rig body. And be careful when you pull it out. Sometime, uh, well, most of the time, I see the one of the one of the spring washers are like stuck on there with the silicone. Just kind of remove it. Now we're going to remove the spring washer and the rake piston inside. We need a little tool here to get it out. All right, now this bottle adapter, usually they're, they're pretty tight on there. They need to be because you don't want to remove the bottle and just unscrew it out. So you need a 24 mil, get this off. I think the only reason you take this off is to replace the dowdy seal here, all right. Now, here is uh, the valve assembly. We're going to remove that. There's the valve assembly retainer. We require uh, four mil. Here's a retainer, I mean, valve retainer with the O-ring. It has the spring retainer right there. Now I'll grab a tweezer or sometimes a spring falls out, but uh, usually the valve stays in place. The valve. Now the valve seat is in there and usually you get a little tweezer. There's a little notch on here. Usually it catches on a notch and it catches the valve seat. Alright, All right. now let's go and remove the hand, hammer spring, the power wheel adjustment screw, the slider bar. We need is the uh, Like a one and a half mil, there's a set screw back here. All you do is just loosen it. And your slide bar just comes out. There's your hammer spring adjuster. Well, it is with a guide on there. And here your spring. Hammer spring, and your hammer is not going to come out till uh, remove the trigger assembly. We do is there's uh, two pins here. We have to uh, partially push out to clear uh, the bore on this trigger plate here. We'll start with the top one. Is on the trigger roll. Yeah, don't push it all the way out, just enough to clear your trigger plate bar there. And be careful, hold on to it because there's a spring underneath it. Is that? If you don't, 
you just push it out and not paying attention, it just kind of fly out a little bit. All right. Now inside here, this actual shear engages the hammer. Going to remove it because you can't get the. I said you can't get the hammer out this in a way. Make sure, sure. Now, here's your hammer. Now, let's move the whole the probe and the, the trigger handle and everything. All right, there's a pin underneath here, pins this lever. All right, there's a set screw, locks the pin in place. You have to remove that set screw. I'll it totally out. There's a set screw. Now, you need something small to fit in inside this hole here. And you just kind of push the pin out. And that long enough, I think it's longer. There's that pin. And you could slide the whole cocking probe assembly. All right. All right, now we're going with the power wheel assembly off. Like on this one, you need a one and a half mil. Let's say opposite from the wheel. I believe it's the next size. It's a two mil. All right, there's two set screws here. Well, it's called, the first one is a, a jam screw. It prevents the actual screw that sits on the divot on the shaft of the, the power wheel. It prevents it from moving. All right. You gotta, you gotta totally remove that screw because when you put this back in, you have to verify the divot is perfectly aligned with this hole before you screw it in. All right. And underneath the power wheel, there's a little set screw down here. Use this very small one, one and a half. And you just loosen it, you can slide, well, hold on. You can't slide it till you remove this screw here. It's a uh, 2.5. And let's put this back on because uh, I can't rotate it to loosen the screw because this shaft is turning. We're just going to bottom it out real quick. Tight and I'll loosen this one. Then your wheel will slide out. Go and uh, back out and remove that screw there. Now you could uh, push it on this side and you'll see it slide out. And when you slide out, sometimes a ball bearing and a spring gets in the way and you can't pull it out. You have to remove this set screw here. Set screw. And kind of your ball bearing and your spring. Then you can easily remove the whole shaft of the power wheel. All right, you can see a transit port different size transfer port on there. Yeah. Right, the only reason to take this out when you low power you feel a pressure coming out on both sides and it's time to reseal it. All 
All right, this uh, covers this topic. It's totally, well, dismantling the FX crown. I kind of went fast through it, but when we reassemble this, we'll go really slow and really in depth and detail because there's really detailed measurements and procedure how to assemble it properly to do a proper maintenance on your gun. This includes this topic. If you got any question, leave it in the comments below and we'll catch you in the next video.